Panorama, the show that digs the dirt with no evidence whatsoever. This week, business corruption with guest host Jeremy Vine. No, wait. Hi, I'm Jeremy Vine. And as, as we all very well know, c corruption has been endemic in businesses for many years, harming the consumer at large and damaging you, the people at home. But until now, nobody has been caught. Tonight, it's all going to change as I'm going undercover with a clever disguise. Clever, eh? Oh! Hiya, Jeremy! Nice to see you! As... As he is using my first name, which is not common practice in business, he obviously has a proposition to me, no doubt, Jeremy Vine, just happens to be a co-name for the illegal business practices. Football season started yesterday, Jeremy. How about you? I think Chelsea might win the title this year. Big Phil's quite a big player around these parts. Possibly Arsenal, I guess. Chelsea. That's, that has to be a lie. No business person's really interested in football. It must be a code for a well-performing stock. Presumably going to try, try and indulge it inside a trading, conning the consumer at large. Well, Jim, what, Jeremy, what are you doing tonight? I was going to go down the cinema, but you know, I can't. I have to stay in. We're getting a new one tonight, hopefully. That new kitchen is presumably, presumably a hefty bum. What money that used to, and uh, what he's saying is obviously come from money that was going to a community scheme or charity is now going to fat cat's pockets. Hey, that bird Karen's after you. Quite fancies you. She wants to know if you want to go on a night out sometime. You're in there, mate. Yes, a night out, which in fact is a secret meeting to include prize fixing, sending p f food prices sky high, and making innocent, making innocent producers and supermarkets who've never done anything wrong in their whole lives the real people to blame. Well, I've only had the camera rented for five minutes. I better not indulge in anything illegal. Tell her I'm not interested. Well, that's not very nice. Hey, what's that buzzing sound? Can you hear your was? What's that in your heart? Hey, give me that! Give, give, give me that! <laughs> ah! Mission accomplished. Turn, turn it to base. So, there you have it. Three blatant attempts to break the law. Naturally, we'll send this evidence to the police, and naturally, they'll laugh at our faces. But, we will never stop. Justify the license fee to fund this pointless scaremongering. Next week on Panorama, Balamori Extra. How Balamori is responsible for child obesity and knife crime by sending them small messages to eat more and kill more through Susie Sweets' fake disability. Guest host, Commie Peter Snow. Yo, I'm Nick off the apprentice. Ten million viewers, kiss my ass, Simon Cowell. You know, the dull, geriatric lieutenant who politely nods his head when Sir Alan ram rants about Rafe, or Ralph, or Adam. I can never tell. Anyway, since the apprentice went big time, I realised that I was an A-list celeb. The real reason why people watch it. And that if I left, the show would struggle to beat a repeat of Universal Soldiers on 5. And Alan Sugar would be busky on the streets, with as much chance of getting on TV as James Atkinson does of getting a girlfriend. I also, I also realised that being an A-list celeb meant I was now irresistible to women. Indeed, when that Brittany Impressionist strutted her stuff, I developed a condition known as late middle essence, otherwise known as dirty old men syndrome. I realised that it was wrong and me to deny the world's greatest man slash lover to our women. So we first invite Brittany to the local disused quarry, where a uh, massive and blinging time was had by all, especially when I made light of Kevin's likeness to Matt Lucas and gave my patented lecture on the Mai's history. However, as things got a bit minging, and Lucinda caught my eye, what with a daft hat, 
We hit it off straight away. Made sure, made sure Claire lost. Went to Indiana Jones. Spent half of it kissing the rest, party out the errors. And Brittany and me got back together. Times clean my glasses, okay? Silk stockings to the nurses. Tongue studs. Play suits, ballet skirts, log division. Then my divorce from the old ball and chain came through. Great, I thought. Free to pursue Brittany, Lucinda, Jenny 1 and 2, and Claire and Helene. Until I realised I only had a few pennies left, which Brittany then took. What a bummer, me mofos. Yes. Oi, Nick. Yes. I'll be twenty five for that bottle. Of Could you uh, give me change for ten pounds? That's all the money I have. Poof. <laughs> You're fine. Yes, Sir Alan. Did you know that ten five pounds for a cod is bloody cheap? <laughs> Cheeky bastard. Last episode ended with James dead, but he just got a bump on the head. It's lame to think it was all the dream, but it's better than Alien vs Predator Requiem. Okay, baby, thanks for the trip to see Norbert. See you soon! See you soon, Teresa! Hi, Fred! Well, that's alright. I mean, Bill? Yes, Bill. Sorry I'm late, I'll just say goodbye to my girlfriend, Dee Dee, when... First it was Dee Dee, then it was Dolores, then it was Fu Manchu! <laughs> Read a joke! Can you get your lines right? Anyway, we've decided we're gonna move to the Belgian Congo and fund it by selling the pie hole. Selling the pie hole? But what about our quirky recipes? Like this batch of arsenic pies I just cooked up. So glad Doesn't you seem to have any effect on me. So glad you agree with me. Well, if you're thinking of putting my detective agency out of business, I've got news for you, Pally. I am going to be an aunt. Is it true? Are you really a second-class passenger? Well, it's worrying being an auntie so long. I'm caught in the proverbial vortex of guilt. Well, the Gladstone is welcome to it, as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to go to my husband tonight, and I'm going to say to him, Darling, Jim in the face! Hello? Not yet, you fool! You can't say that to poor old Seth Baxter. I mean, she's only just go around... Seth Blatter! Well, Seth Blatter, only just, Seth Baxter's only just go over the break of her engagement to my sister. Hello, James and Mr. Stanton. Me, I'm Sir Platter, and me and Michelle Platter and have pulled our resources in order to buy your pie shop. Now, I have taken all the money out of the Weaver account, and if you will happily just write us an invoice, I will be happy to hand over the money and buy all your pies. Oh, Sir, I'll just go and get the receipt. Well then, Sep, do you want to try some of my arsenic pies? Yeah. Of course I want one. A pie, that is. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Say this thing, my dear. Ah! Look. <laughs> <laughs> arsenic pie, work a treat! Yo, Sep, I've got it! Hoax him! Dun 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 dun! You know what this means? It's time for an advert break! No! We've got another bit this is all! To the build of your Dun <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Oh no! Stop! Holy but holy smokes, Batman! Is we shall find these folks! No old Compton way had a big black line fro running through it. Why? Ooh! <laughs> Which way to the morgue, Bill? Right! Not very. <laughs> the no old cops are wearing a big sign of Trevor Donald on it. Warned you before. So you die every ten minutes. <laughs> Holy unconvincing sad is on a Batman! This is your un unconvincing morgue! Yes. Strain out of Dracula, Bert. Or at least it's pale imitation son of Dracula. What's the, t what's the time, eh, Batman? It's... Oh! 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 oh let the music play! Oh! No time for that now, Batman. Now, if you remember, I can wake him up, ask him who killed him, and then I've got to touch him again so he collapses in one minute or someone else will die. Well, that happens. I hope it's Alistair Darwin or Bono, Irish twit. Don't you hit that old man? No, no, not for you, old man. <laughs> oh, you idiot! <laughs> now we'll never know who killed him. Thank God for that, folks. Now, ourselves, I have been looking in the book and there is no reservation for Mr. Ackett. What are you? You moron! You idiot! You! 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 Are you? Oh, you've really done it this time! Are you gonna wake him up? Why, well, I know I killed him. We better go. Might I get another chance? Who, baby, give me one more chance to let me go? Let me go, baby! Ee, ooh, ee, ooh, ooh! Get to your heart! Hi, I'm Peter Snow, and today I was supposed to do a document on Bori, but I'm not going to, because instead, I'm going to do a show about communism. I'm Commie Peter Snow, and we're, me and my gay son Dan, are going to go around the country finding out capitalists as the commie detectives. 